Miles will throw in. 5.6 to go. Here's Corver in three-point territory. Down to three. Down to two. Down to one. It's Gaines. Yes! The Jazz on a game-winning shot by the rookie. Sundiata Gaines has defeated the Cavaliers at the buzzer. Kevin O'Connor, Jerry Sloan, sign this guy for the rest of the season. He has proven his worth. Symbiotic games. Only one practice underneath his belt. Working on his second 10-day contract with the three at the buzzer. Only his fifth game of the NBA out of Jamaica, Queens. Played in the D League, following his collegiate career at the University of Georgia, a dramatic victory wow. for the Utah Jazz. Well, you, you can't tell me Jerry Sloan drew this up for game. Free throw, no, Jazz are breathing. 88-86, they gotta go the length of the floor. Eight to play, down to seven, down to six. Hayward, drive, kick out. Trey, up and down! My goodness! It's a three ball from the corner! Big Four. shot from the rookie! Hey, the big shot, the huge shot, the money shot here by Trey, but what a play here by Gordon. Hey, we're putting the ball, racing down the floor. Off to Hayward, nine to shoot. Down to seven, down to six. Hayward with five, Hayward four, baseline. It's blocked. The putback! Derek Favors! Only rattled the rim. Timeout LA. The best putback of the entire year. Jefferson won't let him back in the huddle. What a huge play. Hayward does get the shot, misses it at the rim, and favors over three Lakers. Dunking it home. What a great play by Derek Favors. Gets an offensive rebound. Sheldon Matt. Ingles in the corner. He's got it. What a huge shot for Ingles. That's a three to give them the lead. No communications defensively, and that frees up the guy that you don't want shooting the ball from three-point land, as you said. Very good from that distance. Screen, nobody's talking, late close, basket, lead to the Jay. With a huge three-pointer to keep the Knicks, Knicks hopes alive. Ingles to Burke. Burke puts it up. It's good! It's good! And the Knicks lose in heartbreaking fashion. What an unbelievable finish as Jim Capers saying, hold on a minute. They're going to go look at the replay. I don't know if they're doing it to see if, if time officially ran out. Burke, where he was in the corner. Burke Hardaway's teammate at Michigan. Oh, plenty of time, Mike. Yep, they, no question. No question. Oh. I think they were more looking at it to see if there was time still left, but no, there wasn't. He clearly got it off in time. And that's it. What an unbelievable finish. And such a heartbreaking loss for the Knicks as the losing streak is now seven. Tonight's major moment of the game brought to you by Major Energy, the exclusive gas and electricity partner of the Knicks. Trey Burke with an unbelievable buzzer winner. Paul gets it back. They've got Ingles on him. Paul driving, puts it up. It's good on glass. Ties the game at 95. Utah has a timeout. Gets it across half court. Won't use the timeout. Five seconds left.
Joe Johnson with four. Johnson with two. Drives in. Puts it up. Gets the bounce at the gun. And the Jazz win game one. I saw Joe. See what I love there in that situation is Quinn Schneider did not take the timeout. Was able to move the ball up the floor. He had the matchup he wanted. He had Jamal Crawford on Joe Johnson. Keep the ball in his hands. Let him go to work. Did a nice job here. Ran it down beautifully. What a tough shot over the top of DeAndre Jordan. And they get the kind bounce. But uh, a gutsy, gutsy win here for the Utah Jazz. But this is the matchup they wanted. Jamal Crawford on Joe Johnson. He takes his time, gets into the paint. That's a tough, tough shot. And sometimes you got to get a little lucky for those shots to roll in. And they come in and steal game one. 21 points for Joe Johnson. Wins the game for Utah. The Jazz have a chance to win this basketball game. Only need two. They're going, go, they're going to go for the win. Yeah, they they're are. going to go for the win. They're not. Darren Yo Yo is out front. Darren, five seconds on the shot. Four, three, floater. Got it. Hello. Darren Williams hits the floater, and the Jazz lead by one. It's eight tenths of a second left on the clock here. I don't know what to say. This is just unreal. Oh my, Darren Williams taking everything out of that shot clock and taking the floater and scoring. Boy, this is just went for the rim. He really sets uh, Jackson up. Then he comes right back to the middle of the floor. And I like the way he did not challenge the big guys and shot the little runner right into the middle of the, of, of the middle of the floor. Now, if he misses this shot, look at Jefferson. He has position on the left side of the basket. Andre has position on the right side. And the Jazz would have got a put back. Ron, the Jazz trails 71-56 with 2.57 left in the third quarter. They have outscored Charlotte 40-24 to since that time. Joe Eagles, a little inbound. Looking for a cutter. Fires it off to Hayward. On a dribble, on a step back. The jumper. Yes! Bedlam! The new money man! against Cleveland. How many times has Hayward been in this situation last year where he did not come through? What a shot from Hayward. LeBron James falls down. He gets the shot up. This is going to count. Nothing but the bottom of the net. This is what it's about, though. That The mayhem at the end. Thompson was there. Hayward a tough ball away. Shooting with house money because he knew if he missed a overtime and he knocked it down. This young team with a signature win. They're trying to break Hood free, but they find Hayward. Three seconds to play. Down to two on a step back, Jay. Yes! Hayward knocks down the winner. If this stands, seven straight wins and a 15-point comeback for Utah.